Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 tutorial. PowerPoint is a program that lets you build a slide show. Before you start your presentation, you need to pay attention to the following points. First, you need to have a topic. And number two, you have to find out how much time you have for your presentation. Then you have to do a research about your topic. Then you have to find pictures. Adding pictures uh, makes your presentation more interesting. Then the last part, you have to be brief. Your slideshow should contain brief descriptive phrases that will help you to remember what you want to talk about. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to open a program, how to add a new slide, how to add a design, and add a picture and animation. First, we have to open the program. So on the bottom of your screen, there is an icon, red icon with the letter P that you have. If, when you point your mouse, it tells you what program it is. It says PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. So click on this icon and the program will open. Okay. Uh, the first slide is usually your uh, title slide of your presentation. In the box where it says click to add title, you just do that. You click in the box and add a title for that. And here we are going to type PowerPoint presentation. So this is our title. Then in this, in the Second box below that, it says uh, click to add a subtitle. In this box, you can click and add your name if you want to. So this uh, subtitle box, it depends what you want to, uh, to type on it. Now, if you want to change, to make changes in this uh, uh, text PowerPoint presentation, you may do so at this time or you can leave it uh, and do everything at the end. Now, the way you want to change uh, this font, you have to select your title and on top of this screen in the font box, you see it says 44. The size of the font is 44. You can click on, on that tiny arrow and change the size to anything you would like. So if, we, if I go to 60, it's going to be big, which is good. We, uh, the audience, when we do the presentation, they can see it very well. And if you want to change uh, the the font to anything, you can go ahead and click on this tiny arrow on the uh, home tab and then change the title. If you go with, I'm going to click on Algerian, okay? And at this point, we can change the font color by clicking on this icon and change the font color. Choose a nice and uh, attractive color in this box. So I'm going to change it to red. There we go. So we did some changes here. So we can do the same thing throughout our slideshow presentation. After you finish with your first slide, you can click on the new slide to choose uh, your second slide. And 
here we are going to, this is the we are still on the home tab so click if you click on the new slide it's going to show you different uh, kind of uh, slide i'm going to check to ch uh, use this one this in this part if you add the second slide you can have a title or if you don't uh, have a title you can just leave it blank it's not going to show when you're uh, clicking on the slideshow but I would I want to have the bullet so in order to have a bullet I choose this uh, the slide type now I'm going to uh, type here click and type here and have a topic every time you click it gives you another bullet and find out how much time you have so I'm going to click on time then hit the enter key then we have to research then hit enter and you can add picture and the last bullet is we want to be brief brief okay then after you finish your second slide, you can make your changes in the same way you did on the first slide. Now, the second part uh, is we want to add a design on this uh, presentation. Adding a design makes your slide show presentation much more interesting. In order to do this, on the ribbon, click on the Design tab, which is this one. Once we click, a lot of different color of design is going to pop up. And if you go into the tiny arrow and you click, you are, you, it's going to give you even more uh, design. And when you move your mouse to any of this design, all your slideshow is going to be this color. So if I click on this one, my both slides are going to be in this design. But you don't have to choose one design for all your slides. You can choose a, a different design. For example, I would like to keep this design as for my uh, title slide. Then on the second slide, I want to change it to a different one. Now, when you, when you find out what kind of design you want for your second slide, you uh, go to the design you choose and right click. When you right click, it gives you this menu bar. It tells you, do you want to apply to all slide or do you want to apply to a selected slide? And I want to apply to a selected slide. Now we have two different uh, kind of design. Now uh, I'm going to add a new design, new slide here by clicking on this and this time I'm going to choose uh, this one that says to, con to content and here it gives me two different boxes now we want to add a picture in order to add a picture you have different choices you can bring uh, your favorite picture and scan it and uh, insert it into your PowerPoint. Or you can uh, choose the, the, uh, picture, any picture from the internet. 
or the, uh, you can just choose picture from the Microsoft uh, clip from the Microsoft clipboard. So go ahead to the insert tab and click on clipboard. When you click on this, a task pane is going to open right here. In this search for box here, it says computer. Let's find a different uh, picture. But the picture has to be appropriate with your title. But here I want to show you uh, what you can do. If, I, if, if you want to uh, add picture of a computer, you can just type computer in this box and click go. And it's going to give you all these different kind of pictures, which you can click on that picture. It, the, pic, the picture you choose is just going to jump in the middle of your slide. And you can put it where you want to do. When you have, when you go in your, in the middle of your picture, you you're going to get uh, a plus arrow, uh, double-sided arrow sign. Then you can move your picture anywhere you want. I'm going to leave it right here in the middle, and this is a very small picture, so I'm going to make the picture bigger. There we go, and now I have one picture in this slide. Now, if you want to add another picture, you can do it. You can either click on the picture, or when you see this uh, arrow, you click on it and click on Insert. There we go, we added another picture. Now I'm going to make this picture bigger. Here, this is... Uh, the third slide and we have now we learn how to insert a picture next part what I want to show you is the different view of your slide a look at your the bottom of your screen on the right side you will see a different icon the first one that we are now in is on, it's highlighted. This is a normal view. That means in this view we can type, we can add a different slide and all this. The second part is a slide sorter view. Go ahead, click on this. Slide so sorter view uh, gives you the overall of all your slides. In this part, you can add a slide by clicking and clicking on the new slide. You can delete a slide by selecting the one that you want to delete by clicking on the slide and just hit the Enter key. Or you can change the order of the slide. Let's say you have 20 slides on this part. You can change, move, this, you, you decided to move slide number three here and change number two to this part. In order to do that, you go ahead and click on the slide number three and hold and drag it to number two. Sometimes it doesn't work with the uh, first uh, uh, attempt, so you go ahead and click on the second and move it here and you're changing the order. Now the third view is the slideshow view. In this view this is what your audience going to see when you're doing your presentation. So by clicking you are, you're going to a different design different slide okay and here is the end of the slide and it says uh, you just click to get rid of that now I'm going to show you let's go back to our normal view how to add animation 
adding animation makes your slideshow even more interesting for your audience. So what, when you want to add animation, you, again, you click where you want the animation to be. And then you're going to, to look at the tab on the ribbon and click on animation. When you click on animation, you see a lot of kind of animation uh, pops up. And if you click here, it, you, is, you even have more animation. And if you, and here on the bottom it says you can even have more entrance effect, more emphasis effect, more exit, or more motion. But right now, I'm going to just uh, click on one of these animation, fly in. When you click on fly in, you can see that uh, uh, this word, the PowerPoint presentation, is animated. And you can see the number here. Now, let's go to your second slide. Now, let's animate this picture first. This is already animated, but you can still add to it. So in here, if you, you can choose anything you want, any of this animation you want, then uh, let's choose this one. And you can see number one here. Now, if you go to the slideshow here, you can see that it's animated. It's grow and shrink. There you go. Now, now that we learn how to add a text, how to add a new slide and picture design, you have to remember to save your work. It is very important that you save your work on a flash drive. So you're going to, uh, in order to save this uh, file, you're going to go to File, Save As. Again, you have to choose a drive that you want to save your work, which is uh, whatever drive you want. And then name your, name your file and then click Save. 